Hey geeks, welcome to New Code Rules. Here's what I'm going to be talking about this week. I want to talk about the work environment uh, for software engineers. Back when the pandemic started last year, I wrote these two articles. And uh, the first one was named, the, the Worldwide Pandemic is Showing Us Remote Working Works, uh, Getting More Work Done. And then I wrote another one about staying healthier, uh, working remote. The reason I wrote the article was I was hoping that companies would embrace working remote because before the pandemic, uh, a lot of American companies just did not embrace it very well. And they did not embrace it at all, pretty much uh, where I live. So uh, finding a remote job has been horribly difficult. One thing I've been noticing since I'm looking, you know, at job uh, postings is a lot of companies are now making employees come back into the office or uh, they're planning to make them come back into the office uh, in the near future. You know, I don't think this is a good idea. I like working remote. I know everybody doesn't like working remote, but I do. Um, mo mostly because I'm more productive and uh, because I can eat healthier and I live near the ocean. And so it's very nice uh, where I live. But I know not everybody wants to work remote. I did a poll um, about a week or so ago. And as you can see, um, only 6.8% of uh, people want to go back into the office uh, with the vast majority want to do a hybrid home office uh, situation. You know, large companies just like Microsoft has embraced this new hybrid way of working. I'm hoping more companies will follow Microsoft's lead. About 10 years ago, I was working at a company and um, in our original office space, the VP of the department walked around one day and he noticed that there were many people in the actual in cubes and so he uh, thought that it's because of all the people like myself at the time that was were working remote he didn't realize the reason people weren't in the cubes is because that company loved keeping people in meetings all day long so he made all of the uh, software developers uh, that were working at home come back in and uh, and it didn't take long before software engineers started looking for another job at that same company, uh, we were uh, we actually bought the old Intuit building here in San Diego, and uh, when they were retrofitting it for our office space, you, the the same vis uh, vice president um, showed us the big blueprint of uh, how they were going to lay out the cubes, similar to basically what you see in this picture. And I raised my hand and I was very vocal as usual, and I said, "This isn't going to work." So my productivity took a nosedive. I went down to about 20% productivity, and um, which is not good. It was so distracting in the new office space with a big open cube farm, kind of like what you saw in the image before. And even my manager, who had a cube too, um, was on the phone all the time. I literally would have to leave my desk and just walk around the office just to get away from the noise so I could think sometimes. The other problem that happened was I was never sick so often ever in my career uh, being in that big open cube space because especially like my boss had younger children and we all know children are petri dishes for germs and so as soon as one of those parents would come in with a stomach illness or a flu or something like that I could watch it just wave across the floor it was I could literally see it happen I was working less because I was sick all the time because of these two big reasons is why I like working remote. I'm much more healthier. I uh, can get a lot more work done. I, I figured out in the past that I probably get as much work done in two days at home than I do five days in the office. So for me, working at home really works. And, you know, my projects are better off too because I can put more work in. I can uh, create better, you know, code quality projects and uh, it's just a win-win all around. Call to action this week is, companies, please listen to your employees. If they don't want to come back in the office, don't make them come back in the office. If you don't trust your employees, then why do you have them, right? And so I know part of this is trust, and I also know that you know, managers just aren't used to dealing with uh, remote workers, but hopefully, thanks to COVID, um, I think that's changing. Please listen to your employees. Ask them. Ask them what type of environment they like and, uh, and go with what they want. It actually will save you money in the long run. If you don't make everybody commit, it actually is a cost savings for the company. So it's, to me, it's a win-win. 
And while I'm on the subject of office space, uh, if they do come back into the office, make sure you create environments in the office that your employees will thrive in. Big, open, low cue balls is not, you can't thrive in those areas because you can't concentrate in those areas. So make sure that one size doesn't fit all. That's what this company made a mistake as they said, well, everybody gets the same cue. You know, the call center people, and you know, uh, you know, marketing people, software engineers, HR, everybody gets the same cube. And that just doesn't work. Maybe for call center, low cue balls are good. But for software engineers, we need higher cue balls uh, to kind of block out some of the sound so we can concentrate. There you have it. That's uh, new code rules for today. Um, please let me know your thoughts and email me at uh, rockincodeworld at csharpcorner.com. Thanks a lot.